next presenter is also from Instituto Nacional del Agua, Nicolás Tomasín, with the presentation Assessment of Potential Wave Energy Resource Along the Maritime Coast of Argentina. Thank you. Let's go ahead, Nicolás. Hi, uh, well, I am Nicolás Tomasín. I, I come from uh, National Water Institute. And I want to talk about um, the work we uh, have developed in last time related to uh, modeling waves, uh, characterization of climate of waves, and assessment of the results. <coughs> uh, well, um, we have in, in Argentina a maritime coast of uh, with an, an extension of uh, to 4,700 kilometers from uh, Buenos Aires, well, Buenos Aires province to Tierra del Fuego province, and uh, we uh, have very little information uh, of waves. Um, we uh, only have four um, points with um, good uh, wave data. Uh, it is an, an, uh, at least two years for continuous information, data information. So it is a very poor uh, information in, in order to generate um, a map of the results. Um, so uh, our aim uh, in this work is to generate a um, uh, homogeneous base of information related to the um, waves in the coastal line. Um, uh, for this, we um, sought in a methodology based on the combination for the three um, source of information for waves, numerical models, uh, sensor, uh, remote sensors, and voice in a specific uh, locations. Um, uh, this is the scheme for our um, methodology. Uh, we uh, start with the numerical model we use WaveWatch uh, 3, and the model requires wind data and bathymetric information. So uh, we generate uh, a, a lot of information about uh, parameter, wave parameters uh, that uh, they are calibrated with the use of the satellite, uh, satellital data. Mm. Satellital data uh, cover an important uh, part of the uh, wave uh, area, the, the area of the modulation. So uh, we can verify the results uh, using the mm, voice data in a specific location. So with the um, uh, val validated model, we can uh, represent a uh, the wave climate, uh, we, we can do a good characterization along the, uh, the coastal line in Argentina. Uh, well, the numerical model uh, is the Wave Watch 3, uh, Wave Watch 3. Uh, we use an um, multi-grid strategy with a rational grid uh, nested a South Atlantic grid mm. and finally we reproduce the wave representation into rational grids with more detail uh, uh, Buenos Aires rational and uh, Patagonian rational uh, we use that uh, uh, of wind from reanalysis and SEP reanalysis data, and we use um, uh, global um, bathymetric information 
in the global area and we use uh, local uh, um, bathymetric information in the regional grids. The results of the model application are time series of wave parameters uh, for a period of uh, 40 years. In the, um, in, the, in the local grids, both local grids, we use the better bathymetric information available. Uh, we, uh, we can see a list of uh, nautical charts uh, produced by the National Hydrogas Predict Center uh, and um, it uh, allows us uh, uh, to have a good uh, representation in the totality of the uh, um, continental self. Hmm? Well, um, in the case of the um, uh, satellital data, uh, we uh, we use um, a free uh, multi mission database named IMOS, which provides a lot of uh, information from many um, many different missions, satellital missions, that since uh, 1991 have uh, generated uh, a lot of uh, high wave data in uh, our uh, area of interest. Um, for instance, in, in the picture we can see the um, uh, JSON tracks uh, that uh, we uh, give an idea uh, how is the information distributed in the um, local area. Um, we uh, we, uh, we, we, we could um, compare uh, satellite information with uh, voice data, voice data in the Rio de la Plata location, and uh, we can um, verify the, the good uh, quality information related to the satellite data. So uh, we use, we use the uh, total information available in this region in order to calibrate the, the WayWatch model. Uh, the process of the calibration to the model consists on uh, fit the um, one, one parameter named beta max and for that we um, we evaluate uh, different uh, index correlation bias, uh, root mean square error, and um, dispersion, dispersion index in order to uh, find the, the better solution. Uh, so we, we can uh, find a, a good um, representation with uh, this process. Um, after that, we use the uh, local uh, data information for waves in the four uh, points available, and uh, in different uh, areas and different and different um, periods of time, we uh, we have got a good uh, agreement between. Uh, waves modulated and uh, waves um, measures in situ. Uh, for for instance, we can see uh, the results in uh, Punta Medanos 
uh, here. This is a modulation uh, for the um, 1981 uh, year. In in the second case, we 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 see uh, the result in Keken ports in. Uh, 2012, and uh, the last one correspond to uh, Tierra Coast in the 1989. Uh, so uh, we use uh, that model uh, configurations to. Uh, uh, so sorry. Uh, in the case of, of Rio de la Plata, uh, we we have the the better quality information. So in this location, we could uh, compare. Uh, we also compare the um, the result in terms of uh, spectrum uh, waves. So we selected three different kind of waves. Uh, uh, we in C event and swell mm -hmm. event and uh, combination waves, C uh, and uh, swell and wind C, and uh, we could uh, appreci appreciate uh, a nice agreement uh, between uh, modulated and uh, measures measurements. <coughs> Uh, so we uh, we use the the model the, val the validated model uh, to uh, to make the uh, to make the uh, weight climate characterization along the uh, entire coast line in Argentina. Uh, we generate uh, a lot of data time series that allow. Uh, to make different kind of graph and uh, graph for uh, high waves, time, uh, um, peak periods, and direction of uh, propagation for waves. Uh, but we are interested uh, in uh, estimate um, a mean annual wave power uh, in order to generate the mm, map of the results. So we use uh, a classical expression to uh, estimate the, the power for waves, um, repeat uh, uh, mean uh, annual power expressing kilowatts uh, per, met of, uh, per meter of uh, coastal line. And uh, we um, uh, we estimate the results in a set of virtual boys. Uh, the virtual boys we we selected are uh, located uh, in in a distance from the coast, approximately uh, of. 15 kilometers. Oh, sorry. And uh, we are uh, separated uh, 10 kilometers uh, from each other. No? <coughs> it's important uh, to take account the difference in the depth of each um virtual boy because it uh, explains the the results for the uh, results available in each point uh, for instance for the um, buenos aires province uh, we can see a uh, um, central zone with uh, water deep, deeper water no they are the uh, bathymetric lines with uh, um, 50, uh, 50 meters, 40, 30, uh, 
20 and 10 meters of depth. So uh, we we use that to uh, generate the map for the results. We divide the, the map in three parts. The first part is Buenos Aires province. Uh, we uh, we can appreciate a uh, more uh, energetic zone in the center of the uh, coast. Uh, the the maximum uh, potential available in this region is in the range uh, 11 and 13 uh, kilowatts. Uh, uh, per meter, and uh, we uh, we have here the uh, representation the the wave climate in in these codes. So the uh, the main uh, direction for uh, wave propagation is the south. So uh, the the result is. Um, a better condition in this area. Mm. Obviously, the, the the energy decrease uh, to the south and to the to the north. Uh, the second part of the of the map is the um, northern Patagonian. We have um, similar uh, results, but. Uh, with a uh, lower um, energy available. The maximum um, uh, values for this region uh, are similar with the Buenos Aires uh, coast and they are uh, located in the uh, South east, south east extreme for the Peninsula Valles, uh, and uh, finally, in the case of um, so, uh, Patagonia, Southern Patagonia, um, the result is similar, but with a uh, lower uh, energy. Uh, for the previous uh, case, only a very short, uh, a very short piece of the coastal line in the north of the Santa Cruz province uh, get the uh, range of uh, 11, 13 kilowatts per meter. Uh, it. Uh, um, the reason for that is uh, explained for the uh, rows of the waves. You can you can see the the main uh, wave energy and the orientation, uh, the coast uh, is uh, easy interpreted that uh, the Gulf and uh, this area are. Uh, natural protected by the uh, main uh, wave energy. Um, finally, um <coughs> we, we can uh, say some conclusions uh, for this work. Um, we have presented a, a third ma a characterization map for the coastal line uh, in the Argentina. Uh, we we can um, made a, a, um, total a map for the total uh, coastal line. It's very important for us. Uh, we we thought the this results uh, constitute a, a good uh, tool for the identification the different uh, locations of interest uh, to the uh, 
planning any uh, any installation of a uh, to the device. Um, we presented them a map uh, divided in three in three parts, and we can see the maximum uh, wave energy is in the range to the uh, 11 and 13 kilowatts meters uh, in the year. And uh, we thought that uh, for the, the continuity the in this uh, kind of works, in order to uh, improve the uh, quality of the results, we need uh, to uh, to incorporate more uh, sites with um, l uh, measures, wave measures, and uh, it uh, would be important to uh, uh, to make to make um, local modulations in any uh, uh, sites with a particular interest in for uh, uh, for, a, for a project. Uh, bueno, so uh, thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Nicolas, for your presentation. Um, we have time for maybe one short question. So, is there any question? Nicolas, uh, thank you for the presentation and the, the work. And my question is, considering, considering the importance of the data from the um, from an oligraph boy, um, did you think uh, about installing one, and if yes, where are the the, the, the best place uh, where are instala installation the the boy? In in which place? Yes. Well, um, um, we we have a, a, a very important. We have a uh, uh, very important uh, uh, part of a coastal line uh, with, uh, with without uh, information. So uh, maybe uh, locate one point in the intermediate uh, distance between Buenos Aires and Tierra del Fuego uh, could be a, a, a good. Um, uh, a good apart in order to better the uh, validation for the model in this area. Yes. Did you uh, use the the boy ubicated um, on uh, harbor uh, Keken or, or not? Yes, Keken uh, Keken uh, was in the in the presentation. Uh, well, Kiken is uh, indicated in here in the, in in the map, and in the process to the model validation was taken uh, took account. Yes. Okay. So thanks again, Nicolas. Thank you.